and this keeps falling. Alrighty, it's very challenging. Different cameras. I feel like I'm in this studio somewhere. <laughs> you are in your kitchen. You are. <laughs> I'm in my kitchen. Oh my goodness, week 10, week 10. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, Facebook people. Good morning, Zoom people, how are you? Got my coffee, my head's a little cut off for Zoom people, but I don't think that matters so much. And for Facebook peeps, I just wanna maybe, I'll pull you back a little bit. There we go. Oh, you're still getting that thing in there. That's okay, that's all right. You guys don't mind. Oh, let's see. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. I had some technical things. I had a meeting before and, um, and I didn't, I, I didn't get time to prepare so much. Let me see. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. You don't have this light above my head. All righty. Even though it's a halo, it's not, it's not. I'm a terrible person. So I'm Deborah. Good morning, good morning from the Center for Enhancing Abilities. I'm out of the Bergen location, but you guys know that already. We've got Alona on, we've got Nicole, we've got the lovely Victoria, and we've got Jeter. Alona, I'm gonna have to come up with like a catchy nickname. Your name's so beautiful. You know, I don't need to. Yeah, yeah. Who do we got on Facebook? Let me know, chime in. The day isn't complete unless Christian comes by. So, um, so there. So I have you in suspense because you guys don't know what I'm gonna be cooking. You don't know, and um, I'm gonna surprise you. I was going back and forth last night. I was going back and forth. I didn't know. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, my friend is fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take care of him, and then this. Oh, you guys muted him for me. All righty. Hello, Allison. Hello, Facebook people. Good morning. Good morning. So as I was saying, who we got? We got Jamie. Good morning, Jamie. Um. So yeah. So I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to think what recipe can I do. I'm looking at all these recipes because I like to bake with you guys. Um. And then if we're gonna do like a meal, like a soup or something, I gotta get you guys a list of ingredients first that, so maybe you can follow along. And I didn't go food shopping this week, so I didn't have as much stuff. So I figured we're sticking with the usual. Coffee makes me gurgle. Mm. Mm. But I need my coffee today. I need it. So, uh, cause I didn't get any sleep last night. Uh, who, how was, how was everybody's sleep? Alona, was your sleep okay last night? It was okay. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Alona was like with me all day yesterday. I think it was nice. It was nice. She joined me for Tai Chi. We missed you, Victoria. It's okay. We know you got a life too. And Nicole, Hi. Nicole was there. Jeter, you weren't. What's up with that? Uh, and yesterday we had such a good time learning to dance. That was awesome. And uh, you guys did a good job. And just burn any pictures that you have of me dancing or video because I can't dance. I cannot dance. Nicole! Nicole has her iPad. She took pictures and videos of me dancing. Sorry, I missed that. She could blackmail me with that because I am really I bad. Hey, Mike, your, your sleep was good? Good, Michael. I'm glad. Uh, Jamie's been up since five. Wow. I've been kind of like in and out of it, in and out of it. I've been up since two and then I would go and I'd come out. So just giving people a chance to come in. So it's Wednesday and this week on Wednesday, it is cooking. So if you guys see me reaching over, I apologize. My one iPad's over there. It's good exercise. So welcome, welcome. Wow, we got people coming on. Good, good, good. That's why we shoot the breeze. That's why we have a little coffee. But I had a meeting today. I feel good. I got something else I got to do today. I got to go into the city. I got to go into New York City. I'm a little scared about that. Uh, but, you know, I always get scared going into the city. So we're going to see how that goes. We're going to see how it goes. Nicole, you think I'm going to be okay in the big city? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't think I'm going to do well. Nicole, are you wearing Purple Rain? Are you wearing a Prince shirt? Because that is pretty awesome. So, Jeter, yeah, I'm going into the city of your favorite team. Favorite team. What's up, man? Relax. It's going to be good because we are making pancakes and syrup. That's what we are doing today. Mm, mm, mm. 
I'm going to put my coffee over here. So uh, I feel like you guys have been in my house. Like, you know, you've been in my kitchen every week since, uh, since St. Patty's Day. That's when Simon and I first started cooking. Simon's got school. So he's not here to cook with us. So, <coughs> excuse me, allergies. We are going to make pancakes and a syrup today. And a syrup. So you may not have the ingredients for the syrup, but we can carry on. We can carry on about the conversation. Please don't make fun of me that I brought ShopRite brand. Um, you, you know, you can always use maple syrup, but we're gonna make regular basic pancakes. Who here likes pancakes? Raise your hand if you like pancakes. Yeah, Terrence just went right in there. He's like, Victoria and Nicole, I got some life out of Vic uh, Nicole. Yeah, pancakes, and Michael likes them. Yeah, yeah, over by Alona. Everybody, who doesn't like pancakes, right? So, yeah, which, what's your favorite place to get pancakes? Which favorite restaurant? IHOP, man. IHOP. Let's save IHOP. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, you can't beat them. You can't, especially when they've got all those pancakes coming in. Yes, Jamie likes pancakes, too. Um, I used to go to IHOP a lot because uh, they, they used to give you a pot of coffee, a big pot of coffee, and now they, they shrunk the pot of coffee. But that's cool. That's cool, because I think they'll give you yeah. all, all the coffee you want. So, ooh, I've got my recyclables I keep hitting, so I'm going to move my recyclables out of the way. All right, so. Oh, McDonald's good too. I, that's my problem in life. Their pancakes aren't bad. Burger King's pancakes aren't bad. But fresh pancakes are delish. Hey guys, it's Christian. Good morning, Christian. Good morning. Yeah, everybody shouting your name. Shouting your name. Happy to hear from you. Happy to see you. We got to have some kind of reunion party or something like that when we all can do this. Murphy's speaking at one today. Christian's letting us know. Murphy's speaking at one. Thank you. Hopefully some more good news. More good news. Now, today, because I went to the food store and in a panic, I just bought whatever produce I could get at the time. And now my produce might be going bad, so I want to make sure I use them. But this time of year, you're going to start to see lots of berries and things, right? And you might, well, probably, maybe not. You, sometimes people go berry picking. So I am going to make, the first recipe we're going to do is we're going to make a warm uh, black and blueberry sauce. Black and blue berry sauce. What do you guys think? Jeter, give me a thumbs up if you like that. Blackberries and blueberries in a sauce for our pancakes. Nicole, let's see. Doug, everybody, Doug is here. Buenos dias, Doug. Good to hear from you, man. Good to hear from you. So we're going to make the sauce for our pancakes. And I imagine you can put this in your fridge and you can reuse it. Um, but you want to close it in an airtight container. And then we're going to make everyday pancakes. Everyday pancakes. Good, my went up. So these are things that most likely, it's a little dark. I'm going to turn my light back on. I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. I can't see. So you've got this weird light above my head. Sorry. Um, so every, we're going to make everyday pancakes. Nicole, what do you got? Is that a bagel or something like that, girl? What is that? That looks good. I didn't eat my breakfast yet. It's probably a bagel. It looks like a bagel. It looks like a bagel. Um, so our everyday pancakes is something usually you guys probably have right in your house. All right? Probably in your house. Now, who here uses like, uh, what do you, like Bisquick or Aunt Jemima mixes to make your pancakes? Anybody use those mixes? Yeah, yeah, and you just like add an egg and I don't know what else you add. We're gonna do it from scratch and we're gonna find out like, hey, why haven't we been doing this? Uh, what do you got? Is those frozen, man? No, this is It's a mix, it's a mix. All right, buttermilk. We are not making buttermilk pancakes. Uh, because we might not. You could no, do no, this. Kara oh, no. says good morning. Good morning, Kara. Wow, we got a lot of people on Facebook. Good. So welcome, welcome, welcome to us making pancakes with blueberry, black and blueberry uh, sauce. All righty? So the things you're going to need, 
the things you're going to need is you can buy frozen or a uh, fresh. I have fresh blueberries and I have fresh blackberries. You're going to need about a cup of, of each. Okay. You can use fresh or frozen. Uh, bowl Christian, you're healthy, man. You need to help me. I'm off my diet. Uh, he had special K with strawberries. That sounds delicious. So you're going to need blueberries or blackberries, a cup of each. You're going to need a half a cup of water for your sauce. You're going to need sugar. Yeah, because that's life. We need sugar. Give me some sugar, as we say. Uh, you're going to need, I recommend a fresh lemon, uh, but uh, we're going to use some lemon juice. I, I have it here. I, I know I'm really terrible person. Uh, you're going to use some unsalted, uh, oh, I have salted, oh, well, unsalted butter. I don't think it really matters. I think it's up to you. And, uh, some vanilla, some vanilla. All right. That's all. Oh, my vanilla is like leaking. Hmm. Mm, smells good. Um, and then that's for your sauce. That's for the sauce. We're going to do the sauce first. So it's going to cook while we do the pancakes. Okay. So I've got my pot. I've got my measuring scoops, spoons, and cups, and I've got my spatula to stir it. So I think I'm pretty good for that. For your everyday pancakes, and don't worry, I will post these recipes. I will, I will, I promise, promise. This one is is a pretty is a pretty cool one. You ready, Terrence? Yes, we I'm need ready. all right. We need two cups of all-purpose flour. All right, so I got I got my flour, my flour container. Uh, we need we're gonna need baking powder, baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. Baking powder is what makes things kind of like rise. So that's what we're gonna use because when you cook your pancakes, they kind of get poofy, right? They get spongy, they get poofy, right? Right? Who likes who likes soft, fluffy pancakes, right? Pancakes shouldn't be hard. I mean, that's not the way it is. Then you're going to need salt, el salteru. All righty, some salt. Just a little bit, just a quarter of a teaspoon. You're going to need, and they said it's optional. Well, I'm going there. Uh, it's only a tablespoon of sugar, of sugar. If you want to put in like a sugar substitute, go ahead. You can use like one packet of Equal or Splenda or stevia whatever i think that's fine uh you're gonna need two eggs two eggs already which makes me want to go here mm -mm -mm. and then you're gonna need what do you think what do you think terrence what's the last ingredient we're gonna need Milk. It's milk man it's milk now if you are lactose intolerant um I imagine, I don't know if you could add in like an almond milk or coconut milk. I mean, maybe try it. I mean, what's the worst that happens, right? What's the worst that happens? It doesn't taste as good. Uh, tomorrow, you're wearing your Aaron Judge jersey. Nice, nice, man, nice. I like that. And I got a Yankee fit, right? Right, Yankees? I'm terrible at baseball. I'm more of a football fan. All right, you got, yeah, uh, Terrence has got sugar-free syrup, so maybe you can use that if you don't want to make the sauce. Good, good. So let us begin. Let us begin with the syrup. We're going to start with the syrup. So it's a warm black and blueberry, black and blue. No, we don't condone violence. Black and blueberry sauce, okay? This is pretty simple. All you're gonna do, now this is cooked on a stove because you gotta break down, get those berries mushy. I'm, I'm going for it, I'm doing two recipes. For the last two weeks, I think we've done, no, no we didn't, yeah, yeah, we did two recipes, we did two. So you need a pot, you're gonna work on a stove. I've got a burner over here because my stove's over there. And we're gonna add we're going to add one cup of strawberries. Remember, guys, if you're carrying on side conversations, we can hear you. So I've got some blackberries. Now, does anybody, has everybody here ever eaten uh, blackberries? I'm going to show you what they look like. Have you ever yes. eaten? 
Yes, Michael is eating them. Victoria's eating them. Give me a thumbs up, Jeter. Have you? Allison's eating them. Nicole, have you ever had a blackberry? They're delish. They're delish. They're not really good for um, uh, your dental sometimes. It's like, what a, what a disturbing image of me. Like, here, take the blue pill. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, they're very, uh, how would people describe them? Blackberries are very, like, tart, right? They're tart. Would you say that's accurate, Allison? They're pretty tart. And I love them, but I had a little dental. Yeah, yeah. Stop eating them because if you bite down, you get the seeds in there. Yeah, and and I'm getting a little older, so my dental stuff isn't as cool. Uh, I've got more. I've got more issues with my dental stuff. So you should wash your berries. I wash them. All righty, I wash them before I use them. Never, do you use fruit wash or just regular water? I just, I just, uh, Allison's making me look bad. I just run some water uh, no, over I them. I don't know if you have to. I watch the news. They say you really don't. Have to. I, I, you know, I have never changed my washing habits. I'm terrible. Um, I just wash them with some water. I just rinse them in a colander. With my leg. Let uh, so, yeah. So, I, I mean, you know, wash your fruit whatever way you want. I just, I, and there's been times where I'm like, yeah, this looks clean, and I just throw it in there. So I'm not condoning my habits, but, you know, wash your fruit. Wash your fruit and your berries, okay? So uh, I rinse these. They're nice and dry. I have a cup. So we're going to use when you're working and cooking. I'm sorry, I'm wearing all black. Um, you want to use a cup for this, like a big, like a big cup. So we've got our blackberries and we put them in our pot. Yum, yum. Now, but yeah, you could, um, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Let me get some hand sanitizer. Uh, okay. Sorry. Allergies. Allergies. Very bad this year. Um, for me now the blackberry is a little different there. They look more like raspberries and I planted a blackberry bush In my in my garden. Here's a blueberry. Here's a blackberry. Here's a blueberry and here's a blackberry Blackberry like Allison's right when you chomp down you can get those seeds like raspberries do me in too So do blueberries the seeds are a little bit smaller so Terrence we need a cup of blueberries. Whoa! One fell on the floor. And yeah. Oh, you could make chocolate chip pancakes. I am not. I'm making a plain basic. So I've got my blueberries here. I've got a nice big cup of blueberries. And I'm going to stick them right in there, right in there. When you're washing or using your blueberries, make sure you take the little stems out. I'm just saying, just saying. It's, it's okay if you eat them, but you may want to take them out. So I've got this beautiful, uh, they're really not blue and they're, they're not, I guess they're black. They're like a purpley color, all of them. So I'm going to put that there. All righty. Then we're going to put, now you've got to put some water in there. This recipe says a half a cup of water. So I pre-measured my water for you guys. So we're gonna put a half a cup of water. That's gonna work with the sugar. The berries, when they burst open, when they cook, like if you've ever cooked berries and you put them under in a, in a stove, your blueberries are gonna kind of like explode a bit. They're gonna pop, they're gonna, a lot of times, depending. And they're gonna get mushy and then they're gonna leak out. You're gonna make this wonderful, yummy stuff. This is how you would make uh, jams or jellies and things like that. You're gonna you're gonna uh, boil stuff. You're gonna cook stuff. So we it's not a lot of water. This should be probably a very thick syrup. Okay. If you're having problems, I've never followed this recipe, so we might have to add more water. I don't know. That seems like not a lot of water to me. Then we're gonna add a quarter cup of sugar. Now one of the reasons why I like this recipe is. When you look at other recipes to make jams and sauces, they use a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. So I like this, that this was a syrup and it didn't use as much, okay? So I've got my scoop and it is a quarter of a cup. So let me ask you guys, how many quarter cups? 
So one fourth, how many of these scoops, a one fourth scoop, would it take to make a whole cup? Does anybody know? It's one of four. So how many would I need to make a whole cup? I would need four. I need four. I need four. Answer is in the name. So I put it in my everlasting sugar container. And I want it to be, you know, this I'm not so worried if it's not as exact, exact as possible. So, but I got a pretty level and I'm going to stick that right in. I'm going to stick that right in to my berries, my water, and now it's got my sugar. Yum, yum, yum. Sugar makes things sweet. It's also, you know, not good if you eat too much sugar. All righty. So we're going to combine the berries, the water, the sugar and the lemon juice. So the lemon juice is gonna add, add like a tartness to it. And my thing says, my ingredients is two tablespoons of sugar, all righty? Now, if you had lemons, you might be, they said in the recipe about two lemons, that seems like a lot. But, you know, I'm really bad. I buy the lemon juice in the little squeezy bottle. So I'm taking my tablespoon, make sure you wanna use a tablespoon, if only it's asking for a tablespoon, because that's a lot. I'm going to pour one. Ooh, yes. Imagine I'm like squeezing all those lemons. Yeah. Le what is lemon? Lemon is what kind of flavor, Nicole? Is it sweet or sour? Sour. It's sour. It's a sour. But it, it's a nice acid. You need a little bit of that. And it adds a nice little brightness to it. So... Now, we have to bring this uh, mixture. I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm just gonna mix it up just a little bit, okay? I'm stirring it up. And you know, it doesn't look like much. It just looks like berries with sugar or water. I don't know if that sounds very good. And hopefully, um, I'm gonna bring this to a boil. So I'm gonna cover it. I recommend you cover your berries when you're cooking them. I don't know if this ever happened to anybody. Maybe Allison's happened to you. When you're working with berries and stuff, or cranberries, when you're making, they pop and they and they make a mess all over your stove. It stains. Yeah, and it stains. It stains. It's not good stuff. So I'm just going to check here. I'm no. going to bring my little, uh, my, uh, my, whatever this is called, my burner, my tabletop burner, and that's going to start... Mm, it's smelling. It's burning. I hope it's okay. I haven't used it in a long time. Hmm. So we are going to uh, start to cook that, and we're going to bring it to a boil, and then we're going to reduce the heat, okay? And so does everybody know what a boil looks like? I mean, not a boil on your skin, but when we bring something to a boil, it's, it's like bubbling, right? Water reaches a certain temperature and it's starting to turn into uh, like a gas. So bubbles come up. That's a boil, okay? You're going to see it bubbling. So we want to do that. We want to bring it to a boil. And then we're going to reduce the heat. That will help. This high temperature will help the sugar kind of melt out into the water. And it will all combine all our ingredients. And then as we, re as we reduce the heat so we don't boil it all away or we don't burn it, we are going to reduce the heat. We're going to stir it a lot. And eventually what's going to happen is the sauce because of the sugar and it will start to get thick. It'll get thick. So instead of it looking like the consistency of water, you know, just very watery, it should get a little thickness. So when you're thickening things, sometimes depending on what you're cooking with, sometimes you use a sugar. Sometimes if you're working with like gravies or other, uh, you can even do it in a syrup, you would use like cornstarch. Cornstarch is a thickener. Certain things that we add to food thicken stuff. You know? So guar gum I think is also another one. So we are gonna start to let this boil. It's not doing very much. Let me see, is it? It's doing something, it's doing something. There we go, I'm gonna get this up here and that's gonna start to boil. And then at the end, um, we're going to add some butter. So it'll be nice and hot, we'll add some butter in it. That'll give it a little richness to the flavor and a little vanilla, a little extra sweetener, sweetness and a little extra flavor, all right? So that's cooking, that's the first part of our recipe, all righty? 
So that's going to hopefully start to boil. And now we're going to go to the feast de resistance. I can't speak French. Maybe Kara and Cheryl can help me out uh, because I don't know any languages. Okay? I can't speak French at all. All righty. So the next thing, what? I know how to say French. Caribou Francais. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Monsieur. Monsieur. Madame. I don't know how to say how are you. I can speak some Spanish, and I'm terrible at Spanish. Uh, I'm, t I'm actually terrible at languages. Buongiorno is Italian. Italiano, right? Ciao. Ciao. So we are working on, this is kind of, there's lots of different pancakes and all different recipes around the world. It is, it is, you know, if you notice certain foods repeat themselves, meaning you can always find some type of dumpling uh, in a lot of cultures and a lot of countries around the world. Um, anybody have like, uh, like, um, like, like popovers or empanadas? Uh, you know, d um, what are those called? Pot stickers. Those, those things show everywhere. Oh, this is. Oh my gosh, it's starting to boil. Um, pancakes. What funnel cake? Funnel cake is like a really not good for you, but it is delicious. Okay, my stuff is getting ready to boil. So, you can, you can. We're not making funnel cake. I might try, but that's not good for you. So, not not that pancakes are either, but this, these I think are pretty good. These are pretty good. Boy, you guys are super chatty. All righty. So let's go to our pancake recipe. All righty? All righty. So what's the main ingredient? Meaning, what do we have the most of? The most of. What is the main ingredient in our pancakes? It is flour. Oh, and am I not? I never turned this around. Sorry, guys. I did for Facebook. I'm so proud because I'm on my uh, my iPad, not my laptop. So I got to change that. Sorry, guys. So everything you'll see is like backwards. Okay. Those are getting ready. I don't know. Can you see the, can you see it? Can you see the smoke? You guys can't. It's working. It's working. It's working. Hopefully I don't blow a fuse. And I didn't have any... Just, just an update. I didn't have any mousely visitors. Okay. So what we're going to do, let me see if you guys can see it here. Yeah, you guys can see it here. I'm going to let you guys see over there. So we've got a big skittle, a, 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 a skillet, everything you would be cooking on your stove. So uh, ask for help if you need it. Ask for help if you need it. Absolutely. We want to make sure we don't wear loose, billowy clothing when we're cooking on a stove. Why would that be? Does anybody know why we don't want loose, billowy cookie, uh, clothes? Because, boom, you're going to catch on fire, okay? I don't mean to, you know, it's gonna, you can get caught up in flames. Has anybody set themselves on fire while working on a stove? Raise your hand. Oh. I'm the only one. I okay, I'm Allison finally and Michael maybe. I'm, I'm on my I had a sweater. Like it's just starting to go up. And you're like, whoa, whoa. It was wool. It was wool. Yeah, yeah, dish towels. Wool is a is is good to wear, but we're not really wearing wool. It's na it's uh naturally flint. Ooh, ooh, okay. So let's see. Let me go back to here. So you wanna make sure if you're touching hot objects. You have your, ooh, it's starting to really boil here. So if we remember, okay, sorry. We're gonna lower our heat just a bit. We're gonna hope it gets thick. Now it's gonna thicken. It's gonna cook while we're cooking the other part. So if you're using a stove, make sure you watch out for the flame. Make sure you don't wear, maybe roll up your sleeves. Obviously you wash your hands, all that stuff. And you don't want things that get melted on a stove, okay? Don't use plastics, all right? So we've got our bowl here, and we're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. Now, I use my little fancy scoop. It's a half a cup. It's a half a cup. So you guys are going to help me to make one cup. How many half cups, meaning one over two, how many half cups am I going to need for one cup? If it's a half, 
I need having some audio, but we can no. see you clearly. Uh, I don't know. Could, if, uh, somebody else let me know if you can't hear me on Facebook. That's concerning. I've been having some issues like that lately. Uh, let me know again. Check in. Let's say I did something. So we need two cups. So I only have, though, a half cup scoop. So instead of two spoonfuls, because that would only be one cup, I'm gonna need four, I'm gonna need four spoonfuls. So that's one, two, count with me. This one is number three. That's a cup and a half. And now four scoops of my half cup scoop is two, is two cups, okay? Two cups of flour. And I can't find anything. I can't find anything. Just let me know if anybody... And let me know if anybody else is having a hard time hearing me on Facebook. Let me know. Let me know. Um, okay, so I've got two cups of flour in my bowl here, right? In my bowl. So, um, your griddle, you can start. I'm not going to start it afterwards so I don't burn myself. It's going to be a medium-low heat. We don't want it super-duper high. Let's see how our stuff is going. Ooh. All righty. And from time to time, we're going to have to spin. I mean, spin, stir. I think I need to go to a spin class. I'm going to leave the lid off so some of the water gets out. And um, so we are going to um, mix our dry ingredients first. So we've got our two cups of flour. We've got our baking powder. And we're going to need two teaspoons. So before for our lemons, we used a tablespoon. And this everybody gets, everybody. We've got a tablespoon and a teaspoon. And if you mistake the two, you can really do a number on your recipe, okay? Because a tablespoon is the big one. The teaspoon is the smaller one, okay? The teaspoon is the smaller one. Like a cup of tea, it's dainty, a table is big. Hey, Hannah, what's up? So, we are going... It's not on there. Um, we are going to do tea, two teaspoons, two yeah. teaspoons of baking powder to our flour. So, that's one, two, how many, two. How many yes. tables... I need to, where should I write baking powder? Help. Okay, right so Hannah, Wait, I will review. The flour. I will review. Eat. It's two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. That was the first one. Two. Then it's two, tea, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. I love how you're writing this down. Two teaspoons of baking powder. These are the dry ingredients. You haven't missed much. You haven't missed much at all, so don't worry. Now, our other dry ingredient is salt. And we are going to put a quarter, one quarter, one slash four, one over four, a quarter teaspoon. It's much smaller than our teaspoon. It's one fourth. So I'm going to just kind of make a mess on my table. I'm just going to shake it. Shake it up, or whatever the song was, or shake it off, right? Is that Taylor Swift? I'm more into the cars. One quarter of a teaspoon of salt, all right? So in our dry ingredients to make, uh, to make our, um, our uh, pancakes, we've got flour, baking powder, that will help it rise, and salt will add to the flavor as well. I like to stir up my dry ingredients with, I like to use a, a whisk because it really gets it in. You can use like a fork or anything like that. So, but you can use a regular spoon, but I'm going to mix my dry ingredients and that's it. That's my dry ingredients. And for those that we remember, dry ingredients are things that are dry. They're not wet. As simple as that. We don't mess around. All righty. Now, but pancakes, we start out by making them in a batter. We've learned this. A dough is very firm. 
We can shape it with our hands. We can roll it out. A batter is very liquidy. It's very gloppy. So we are making a batter. So we need some wet ingredients. So we're going to find out what we add to the wet ingredients. So we need two eggs. Two eggs. All righty. So does anybody remember, should we just crack our eggs in our bowl that we're going to be mixing oh. everything in? No, oh. no. Take a separate bowl. I know it's a pain, but take a separate bowl and you're going to crack, okay, the egg a little bit. And sometimes that makes little remnants of shells. And we don't want that. We don't want that. So here's my egg. I'm going to do it closer for Zoom people as well. And we're just going to pull the shells apart, let them fall. And we're going to look and we're going to see if there's any shells. I don't see any shells, so that's good. So I'm going to pour one egg into another bowl. So you're going to need two bowls, one for your dry ingredients, one for your wet ingredients, okay? Let's do that again for Zoom people as well. So I'm going to crack my egg, and you want to use two hands. So see, there's my egg. All right. Now I'm looking. Oh, no. I see why I did this. I got a big old shell, big old shell. And we don't like to eat shells in our pancakes. Your pancakes really shouldn't be crunchy. They should be crispy, not, not on the edges, not crunchy. So I use the shell of the egg. I always say this in every class. I learned this from Cheryl, that the like attracts like. So the shell will get the other shell out. Because if you use a spoon, it'll just keep moving all around. So we've got our two eggs our two eggs in here. So I'm gonna get rid of my little bowl. Oops, oops. I'm gonna wipe my hands. And uh, let me just see here, I gotta make sure, because I usually use the box mix. So we're gonna beat the eggs into one and a half cups of flour, okay? Alrighty, now, let's see. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna get my flour in just a second but this is where the butter comes in you're gonna need two tablespoons of butter now one of the things we talked about that's so amazing about butter nowadays is the wrappers themselves it has, it has, a measurement. It has the measurements it has the measurements is this not amazing so we're gonna use two tablespoons of this we're gonna use two tablespoons of butter because eventually we're gonna add this um, to the mix. So I'm going to put this, and they said to have it melted. When you're working with wet ingredients, uh, you, you want it melted. You want it melted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the microwave real quick. I'm only going to put it in for, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds. That might be too much. I'm just going to put it in for 30 seconds. Okay, my butter's melting. So while my butter's milking, I'm gonna get the rest of my ingredients ready. So I've got my two eggs, and I need one, uh, what is it? One and a half to two cups of milk. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of milk. So I've got my measuring cup, I know it's hard to see, and I'm gonna pour it, because it's black, so I've got, I'm using fat-free milk, I don't think it matters. You can use whatever you want. So that was one cup, that was one cup, and I've gotta get another half cup. Am I gonna have enough milk? Yes, I'm gonna have enough milk, okay? So now you've got this kind of weird looking uh, mixture, okay? It's kind of weird mixture of like eggs and milk floating around. It doesn't look really delicious. And what we're going to do, oh, wait a minute. You know what? I forgot one ingredient. I'm sorry, guys. I was so anxious to get to my wet ingredients. Should we add sugar to our pancakes? Should we add it? It was optional. Should we add a little sugar to our pancakes? What do you guys think? Yeah, let's add a little sugar. I didn't add it. It was a tablespoon. A little, a little, a little. A little. What? I put a lot in. I put, that's why I've gained so much weight. So I apologize, guys. Um, for your dry ingredients, it was the flour, the baking powder, the salt, and if you want to, a tablespoon of sugar, or you can add a packet of sweet and low or whatever. So just, just add a little sugar. And I saw somebody, you know, just a little bit. Okay. 
So we've got our other stuff. Let's see how this is going. Ooh, our syrup is, is slowly cooking. It's slowly going. It's, it's doing something. I don't know how much, and sometimes it won't, it's boiling, it's, it's simmering, meaning it's a very small little boil. It's not bubble, bubble, bubble. It's just a little, it's just a little bit of moving. So it's going along, it's going along, okay? It's going along, and I'm gonna show you guys in a sec. All right, so now we need to whisk. We need to mix our milk and our eggs, okay? So this is a whisk. And the eggs and the butter, I mean the eggs and the milk are in the bowl. And I'm going to move my whisk. You see how I, I you can you can hear it. I'm going back, I'm going like in a circle. I'm going around. Or you could do back forth. But we're mixing them together. The whisk really lets them mix well. So I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. You're not really stirring like this. This is more of what we call a stir. A whisk is your hand is going back, forth, back, forth. See the difference? A stir is like this. A whisk is more, is quicker, is faster. And it's a much smaller circle, okay? So I'm whisking that together. All righty. Ooh. So we've got, let me go back. Whenever you're, we've got our, our, our milk. We've got our... Uh, eggs uh, whisked in there. We're beating the eggs together. And now we're going to add our butter. So we don't want our butter. They say not to make it too hot. Um, I only, because I'm doing this, I, I didn't want it to sit there. I wanted to make sure it was melted. I didn't want it to get too gloppy. So when you do this, sometimes if you put hot butter in an egg mixture, it'll like cook the eggs, but I think we're going to be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. So if you don't wanna add the butter, I don't think you have to if you're watching your weight. I don't think the two tablespoons is too bad. So we're gonna slowly, we're gonna add the two tablespoons of butter into our wet ingredients. You wouldn't be able to use the, the regular butter because it, uh, you know, it, it's gloppy, it's solid. So we needed to, we needed to uh, we needed to melt it so we could mix it in. Alrighty. So here we go. Oh, we've got some people in my kitchen. Alrighty. Now, what we're going to do. Ooh, that's still cooking away. Let me lower my heat some more. That's for our syrup. So we've got this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to gently stir. It says gently. I don't know if that's really important. Okay. We're going to slowly stir our milk and our eggs and melted butter into our dry ingredients. See how that's coming along? I'm just pouring it. I'm pouring it. Ooh, it's kind of it's kind of gloppy. And it's a batter, as we said. It's a batter. So it's very liquidy. It's a liquid. It's not very liquidy. It is a liquid. Uh, make sure you scrape the sides because that flour can be a little, I don't know why they said gently. I guess, I guess you should treat all your food gently. All righty. So I'm stirring it. I'm mixing it, trying to break up the blobs of flour. Yeah. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm going to make sure. I'm going to maybe take my whisk. Sometimes I use that. Just break up the flowers, make sure I'm scraping the edges. And let's see, let's see if this looks like uh, pancake flour, let's see. I mean, how bad can it be, guys, right? How bad? All righty, let's see. The batter should be thick. And if it's really, really thick, you can add a little bit more milk if you want. All right, we got Dave coming in, he made it. He made it. I think this is a pretty good consistency. I'm gonna show you what the consistency looks like. I mean, that's, see how it's moving, you guys can see. I mean, I think that's a pretty good consistency for um, pancake. If it's not moving very much and it's like sitting there, it's too solid. Um, 
<laughs> if it's not gonna pour, you might wanna add some extra milk to it. So, what I'm gonna do is if you want and you use a spray for your skillet, I'm gonna get my scoop, hold on. There we go. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're ready to start to cook our pancakes. So I'm gonna use some butter, cause you know, to heck with the diet. And I'm gonna use my skillet here. Now I'm using, let me move this out of your way. I am using an electric skillet so I can cook right in front of you here instead of setting something up at my stove. So if you can, just be careful of the heat. Remember, if you're touching anything, yeah, I, I like the electric skillet for this, but you could use a frying pan. You can use one of those copper things um, that sits on your stove. You can do whatever. You could use cast iron. My mom used to use cast iron. I wouldn't know how to clean that. She said, we use cast iron. It's a, this is a cast iron. Here, hold on. You can tell it's dusty. This is like a cast iron skillet. Does anybody, does anybody's mom or anybody still use these? A cast iron? Oh, I'm impressed. Yeah, my dad does. Yeah, they're supposed to take on the flavor of food, like you season them. I don't use it for pancakes, but other things. My mom used to use it for a lot of things. Eggs, hash. This is paint clean. They rust, so I don't use it. I, I don't use it. All right? I don't use it. I use it as decoration. Oh, no, I have rust on my I use decoration. I got you. for almost too heavy. Yeah, right? It's too much. So I'm preparing my skillet. So forgive me for not lifting the skillet all the time because I don't want to burn myself. Okay? But I'm using an electric skillet. You know when it's ready, I might have to lower the heat because I'm already getting splattered with butter. Uh, you know when it's hot enough, you put a little bit of water on it, like a little spritz and it goes tsst. So you do want this on a medium to low heat. We don't want it to burn our pancakes or burn our butter. If you're using a cooking spray, you can use that too. You can use that too. Now, let's say, so this said they, they wanted you to use two tablespoons of butter. I didn't use two tablespoons of butter because I'm, I have a nonstick pan. I don't need a lot. The, oil, the butter's going to get nice and uh, foamy. It's going to start to get ready. You don't want it to get brown. I already let mine get brown because that's it's starting to burn. And now we're going to do this, okay? So I'm going to take, I have a little scoop. You could use a little cup. You could use a spoon. I have this groovy scoop here. It's like a little mini ladle. And I'm going to pour my pancake onto my hot griddle, okay? This is where we might need help from friends uh, or family if we're not used to working with a hot griddle, okay? Because we don't want to get burned. Um, could you bake pancakes? I don't know. I don't think, I think it's the heat. Pancakes need kind of a high heat to get that poof, all right? But I'm sure there's a baked recipe. So I'm going to pour... I'm gonna pour a few, okay? Now, the batter is very liquidy, so when you're pouring your pancakes, you wanna make sure they have extra spots, they have space uh, amongst themselves. You don't wanna make a big, maybe you do wanna make a big giant pancake, but if you pour the scoops and the scoops of batter are too close, they're just gonna to come together. So with pancakes, on, that's gonna take you, um, you're gonna be making a lot of these pancakes you can't make them all at once unless you had a gigantic uh, restaurant, you know, grill or something like that um, because they expand a little bit. The pancakes pour out. So uh, let me see. I don't know. I think Facebook people can see it. Let me see if I can get without trying to see. You see a little pancake in there, a little pancake. They're moving around. They're like nice little circles. Uh, if you want to make silver dollars, you can. You can make silver dollars. Silver dollars, nobody uses them anymore. They're little pancakes. They're named after a type of coin we used to use. Okay, so you can make them small, you can make them big, you can make them whatever. Terrence said he likes to add, what did you like to add, Terrence? Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. You totally can if you want. You, you can, you can. I'm just going to show you what our mixture starts to look like. I don't want to pour it. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see if I can get a clear. 
it's now not purple it's not a dark purple it's it's like kind of a lighter reddish purple so the berries are definitely uh, yeah. cooking away they're cooking away and for your berries you want them to cook they're probably going to have to cook for a while you're going to let them simmer for about 20 minutes okay that's what it's going to have to do because it's got to cook and it's got to thicken and then once it's done cooking you're going to um ooh, these are different you're going to let it sit for a little bit because it's going to be too way hot now when you know a pancake is ready for flipping you're going to see little bubbles on top of the pancake. I don't know if the cameras really show that. The pancakes start to get uh, bubbles on them, okay? Yeah. So I don't know if you can see where there's like little bubbles. That means they're like kind of, it's ready. It's ready to flip. If it's a smooth, solid, uh, like liquid surface, you're not ready to flip, baby. It's You're not ready. ready. You're not ready. Oh, here's my display, my display plate, okay? So my pancakes are cooking away. And uh, some of my butter, I yeah, think I might have. That has the bubbles, bubbles right? Hannah, you're on mute, so I can't hear you, my friend. Uh, hold on. I'm just going to put another one in. So whoever gets stuck on pancake duty... You've got to sit there and make all the pancakes. You've got to make them all up. Uh, I think Carol likes chocolate chips like Terrence. Yeah. So I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to take my pancakes off. I'm going to show them to you in just a second uh, to show you how you know they're done. And it's different tastes, and we're going to open one up. But I'm going to put some new ones in or some fresh pancakes. So you're really going to be working one at a time now i must say when i use uh i use like what is it aunt jemima i use one of these mixes and they puff up pretty fast so i don't know if there's something wrong so when you're done with your pancake there you are it's incredibly hot and i'm burning my fingers um different people like their pancakes done my butter probably burned a little bit too much but they, they want them like golden brown. You want them golden brown on both sides. So when you are cooking on one side and it gets those little bubbles, they pop up. They're not like bubbles. They're popped bubbles. They're like holes in your pancake. You're going to flip them with your flipper or also a spatula, okay? And they should be cooked on both sides, a nice golden brown. Let's see if I can get some more. And, uh, you know, I could have sworn I don't see him here. I thought he popped in, and I didn't see Dave, and I let him in, but I don't know where he is. So, he is. is he there? Dave, I'm sorry, I can't see you. My screen is limited. I'm not... There you are! There you are! I'm like, what's going on? I can't... Good, good. I don't need to see myself. All right. We're making pancakes. So, and we've got our syrup cooking away. I'm going to turn my syrup off now. I think I'm going to turn it off. It's been cooking for about 20 minutes or so. And I'm going to let it start to cool. I'm going to let it start to cool my syrup, okay? I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna, I'll try to pour it into something so you can see. And my pancakes, my pancakes are definitely getting those holes in them. I don't know if you guys can see the holes. Can you guys see the holes? I can't see myself. Yeah. All right, there's like little yeah. holes. And I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. Don't flip your lid. Flip your pancakes. Now, I find that these pancakes are not super thick pancakes, in my opinion. It could be something I did. I don't know if they're supposed to. Are pancakes supposed to be super thick? I don't know. So I flipped them over, and now they're cooking on the other side. It depends on what kind you're making. Now, yeah, it's true. I wonder if I didn't, you know, sometimes... It depends on what you're, like, batter than that you're using. You think? Mine are, these are coming out a little thin. These are coming out a little thin with my batter. I don't know why. They don't seem to be rising as much. I wonder if I needed more baking powder. Maybe my baking powder is old. I don't know. Uh, and they cook pretty fast. These guys cook pretty fast when they're on there. So I'm just going to flip them what, over. I'm just going to... What gonna, heat are you using it on? I'm using a medium. I'm using a medium, a good medium, almost a medium high. Uh, so I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Okay, that sounds about right. 
All right. Thank you. I, no, you know. That sounds about right. Cause they're not, they smell good. They smell good. Thank you, Victoria. I see what you got. I'm going to do one more set. But this is a very easy recipe. Maybe my batter was too thin. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the the don't test know. is, how do they taste? How do they taste? So that's the next thing. So let's see how they taste. Okay, hold on. Got my apron. I'm going to get a plate. All righty. Here you go. I'm using Corel. All righty. So I've got my pancake. It smells like a pancake. It smells like a pancake, whatever that means. It's not super thick. You see, I mean, they're pretty thin. I wonder if, like, I did something not so great. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter how they... Now, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my syrup. I like my syrup a little bit more mashed up. So I'm going to go in with my spoon, and I'm going to mash some of my berries up a little bit. Uh, normally, I would let this cool, but since we want to use me... Uh, as your your to, as your guinea pig to see how these taste, so you could use a masher. I'm using like a spoon to mix it up, and let's see. So here we go. I've got a little bit of my syrup. It will get firmer. It'll get it'll get thicker. So there's my 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 pancake with my syrup. All righty. Yeah, I have just. And if you want, you can use maple syrup too. So I'm going to test it. This is not a thick pancake, I have to admit. So maybe it was something wrong with what I did. I don't know. It's pretty thin. It's pretty thin, if you guys can see. But the, the, the proof is in the taste. So let's see. It smells pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. What I recommend is... You, if you like, you know what? We've gotten used to uh, pancakes from like uh, IHOP. They're much sweeter. This is not a super sweet pancake. This is like a very... Uh, IHOP is sweeter. So let me see. Now i got my syrup. Oh, 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 oh. Syrup, sorry guys. Uh, the syrup on this, ooh, this this pancake as I cook them more uh, is really good. The syrup with the pancake is delish. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one more time as you guys are watching me eat. Okay, so here, here you go. Here it is with the syrup. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, here we go. There's the syrup on the pancake. Let's see. Oh, with the syrup, that's good. The syrup is good. I think we should make pancakes for lunch today. Yeah, that's, well, that's what I thought. Some people, that's what I'm doing. My son has to go to a doctor's appointment. So, oh, whoop, I'm a fly my pancakes. So, yeah, I made pancakes. Why don't you say hi to everybody? Will you eat these pancakes? So, we've got this. And we've got some syrup. I've got a little bit. When I make the batter, you probably, you probably could put it in the fridge. But I think you're better off making it all at once, as Whitney Houston said. Well, aren't all pancakes quick? Aren't all pancakes quick? So my, my recommendation for these pancakes, and I will put the recipe up. You're probably going to save time. If you buy Mrs. Buttersworth or Krusty's or whatever that one was, uh, or uh, Aunt Jemima is I don't I forget all the brands. If you buy Bisquick, if you buy Bisquick and follow the recipe, it's probably faster. I would say it's faster to make that than us mixing up all the ingredients. But I will say that you know what's in it. And it's actually, it wasn't very difficult. In one hour, in, in less than one hour, because we chit-chat, in one hour, we made 
a syrup. Let me see if I can get a container. Can I try the pink? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold ye horses, my friend. Uh, let's see if I can do this. All right, I just want you to see what the syrup looks like. Okay, and it will weird. thicken. It will thicken. So that's like what the, the syrup is. A really oh. nice kind of dark color. That like nice dark and blue and purple. And um, you can also add, as the recipe said, we didn't finish it. What we can do is, if you want to make it a little bit richer. Hold on, Simon, that's very hot. Please get away. You can add uh, two things of butter. I don't think you need to add it. But if you want to add a little bit of um, a richer flavor, you can. And uh, you can add two tablespoons of butter to your syrup. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. And then you can add a little bit of vanilla. It says a quarter teaspoon. That's quite a bit. But uh, you can add an eighth, a quarter. If you don't like vanilla, you don't have to add any vanilla. But that would be what you might add at the end to your syrup. So we're coming back to our syrup. And the heat alone from the syrup will melt the butter and that'll add so a little different flavor as well. But you don't need to. Just the sugar, the lemon, and the fruit alone, I think was delicious. Just that alone was good. That's why I like to try it myself. Yes, you can. If yeah. somebody can eat pits, they can strain it, right? Yes, you could strain it. This was more of like a syrupy, like a bulky syrup. So we kept it to, because we weren't really reducing it that much, but you can absolutely put it through a very fine strainer. Okay, like, uh, hold on, hold on. Let's see. No. Just wait a second. Okay, my friend, just wait, just wait. I mean, I got hungry customers over here. This is a colander. This is a colander. This is a very fine colander. You could put it through here. You could also put it through like a cheesecloth on top of this as well. That might keep a lot out of it. Um, but you want a really fine. Now I have to wash this. I put my face in it. A really I think that fine. Would keep it out too. A really fine oh, colander to do that, to do that. So I'm going to turn this off. And now, let's see, I've got all my pancakes uh, for my lunch. You can have pancakes not just for breakfast. You can have them for dinner. You can have them for lunch. And just so you know, when we added a little bit of the butter, just kind of get it gives it a little bit of a different sheen. But I would say with the recipe, you could cut the vanilla and the added fat as well. It kind of gives it, I don't know, it might thicken it a bit, the butter. But it, but I, I think it will definitely, uh, there you go. It lightens the color up a little bit, and, and then especially as the butter starts to cool off, it'll, it'll, it'll thicken it a bit. But that's up to you guys if you want to take that. I'm going to take a, a sample here. Oh, wow. You know what? I take it back. I take it back. Make sure you add the butter and the vanilla. I was trying to keep it healthy, but man, add the butter and the vanilla. It is delicious. I'm glad that I didn't forget. I, I started to. So the butter to the syrup makes it, makes it more buttery, makes it richer. And that vanilla just cut some of that tang. So it's up to you. It's up to you if you want the extra sugar, if you want the extra additives. Either way, it was good. So I'm glad this was cut. I'm not double dipping. Let me see. Okay. So here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. Let's dip it in there. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Add the butter. Add the butter and the vanilla. And then you won't need to add it to the pancakes. So I really want to thank you guys. Dave's laughing at me. Um, just a weird day. Weird day. Weird week. Um, for the rest of your day, you have a breakfast club. And, uh, yeah, not breakfast club. You have lunch bunch. Sorry. Lunch bunch with uh, Allison and Stacy. Um, and then Allison, make sure one of you guys um, texts me when you're like ready. Because I might be out and about. 
So pass the word on. Um, I'll make sure that I let everybody in. If there's a problem, I'll make sure I share the information to get on because I have to go into the city. But um, And then we have music with Tony. And I think that's also on Zoom. I think he was going to do it on Zoom and Facebook. Yeah. Um, so that's the way I had it. Friday might just be Facebook. I don't know. So then tomorrow we'll see each yeah, other at 1030. It was it on both. Okay. So I really recommend I will get these recipes up as soon as I can. So you guys can try it. But maybe I've inspired you to make some pancakes for lunch or for dinner. It's delicious. Yeah. If you want to save the calories. Don't add the butter, but if you want to make life worth living, add the butter and the vanilla. Okay, that's all I got to say. Just add it. That was really good. So you can use fresh or frozen. So I want to thank everybody today for joining me. I hope my... Simon is hungry. He is hungry. I'm going to have to yeah. knock him out. Yeah. Uh, Simon, poor Simon's waiting for those pancakes. <laughs> it did smell good. It did smell good. Yes, but, you know, our class comes first. So I will see you guys tomorrow. You won't see me today. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, Jamie. And I want you all to get outside. It looks gorgeous. Tonight at the meeting? Uh, tonight you will see, yes, tonight you will see me at the meeting. Okay. I will be on in the meeting and for our meeting, too. I'm trying to make it. Okay? All righty, everybody. Oh, Enjoy. Have a good one. Ooh, don't burn yourself. Uh, uh, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.